What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video guys, I'm gonna be unboxing the brand new 2022 or the brand new model SC Bikes Mike Buff Fast Super. The Fast Super has always been one of my favorite 29 inch bikes that SC Bikes has ever built. You guys see some of my videos, you can see how I'm always cutting through the pack, switching through the gears, lane changing, seat coast and all that. In my opinion, I feel that the Fast Super is the best all around 29 inch bike. Today I got the opportunity to build up a brand new Mike Buff Fast Super. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing video. What I like about these new boxes is it's not the staples, they actually glue it. So it makes it way more easier to open up these boxes. We got the seat. My buff. Put this to the side. We'll open that in a little bit. And we got a new Mike Buff Fasty guy. I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting a long time to build up one of these new Johns. Can't forget about that box. You know, this carries the pedals, probably carries the pads. I hope these come with pads. I don't think they come with pads. So one thing I noticed already, one thing I noticed already is that they're not using 15 millimeter bolts no more. They're actually using 17 millimeter bolts. So when you're unboxing this bike, just know that you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket or socket wrench. I gotta say they did their thing with the seat though. Got the black seat with the Mike Buff logo on top. A Mike Buff on the back pad right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is how the bike is looking so far, guys. Yes, I did put grease on that seat post. You guys can see. Um, we got the Mike Buff Fast Zipper. This thing is looking clean, I'm not gonna lie. I noticed that they're using different hydros on here. That's cool. I think that's actually pretty cool, guys, that they're using different hydro brakes on there. And the bigger 17 millimeter bolt. Hopefully that helps with the uh, axle bending issues, I'm not sure. So these are drilled uh, axles, which most people won't say there's any difference, but that's one thing we have noticed over the changes of the years through the Fast Ripper is that uh, some of the ends were drilled, um, especially on a lot of the COVID production bikes across all lines. But this is solid, and yet 17 millimeter axle nut. So you think that's going to help? It definitely Keep could help because a larger, a larger tension point, especially against a peg, even on the front, huh? Yep. Wow. I just finished putting it together. No pads. Comes with the Mike Bus stickers. Manual. Some other accessories, valve stem caps. The pedals, which is what I need. Extra one of these. If you travel, you're definitely gonna want to keep one of these on you. Tell them the importance of pedal 
Washers. Oh yeah, these things right here. These, these washers right here, they're zip tied in there for a reason. You do not want to lose them. It helps keep your pedal flush to the crank arm when tightening it down. Without that washer there, it's not, it won't get you an even flush tightness to the crank arm. Don't lose that washer right there. We went ahead and put some grease on the pedals. Now we're gonna go ahead and install them. Again, don't lose this washer. It goes up against that crank or your screw. If you lose it, say bye-bye to your cranks.